and he was stroking it from beyond the arc. Well, he and Wigington were fantastic last night, and there's a nice look inside and an easy finish for Jonte Porter. He hit four from last night's game. Molinar, nice little mid-range jumper. There's Wendell Moore Jr. Good oh, pass nice for cars inside. Big, nice catch too for the big guy down there by the knee. Still doesn't have the name on the back of his jersey yet, so pretty new addition. Good pass underneath. There's a foul and a strong finish by Matt Lewis. Well, Nate's in the books already for the herd with the foul. Lewis with us just took contact and hung in the air, finishes with the left hand. Found about three quarters of that rim before it fell in. Swing pass over to Randolph. Randolph hangs in the air. Wow. Kisses it off the window and in. A little bit of contact, but initiated by Carton, it looked like. Here's Ande de Kumbo. Wild shot through the lane, and he knocks it in. 21, or 22-21. Uh -oh. Here's Carton. Yeah. Finger roll is good, and a bump. And one for DJ Carton. Chance yeah. to make it a three-point play. Explosion by Carton from, from the wing to the basket, and Ande de Kumbo got there a step late. Looks to drive it. Lost the handle, and Carton just takes it away. Up ahead, oh. C.J. Ellaby. Ellaby rises up and flushes with two hands. That was pretty. That was good attention to detail there. Bounce pass off the leg of Roberts, and the herd go the other way. Molinar tried to dunk it over D.J. Carton and didn't get it to go. While everybody stood around, Cook went after the basketball. The Herd in Wisconsin and on NBAGLeague.com. Wigington with a long... Not even close to the same player when he was at Iowa and he was pretty darn good, huh, John? <laughs> well, player of the year, no big yeah, deal. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and you can still see the improvement of his game. There's Porter stepping out for three. Into the front court now, a little shake and bake top of the key. Got caught in the air but found a teammate in the corner. Now Edwards gets it back. Spin dribble into the paint. Tough shot wow. over the seven-footer Garza. Wigington made the free throw. Now Ellaby puts it on the floor. Ellaby left hand runner through the lane. Counted and the foul. As he's saying, as always, I didn't foul somebody. Nobody ever fouls somebody. And kind of pushed it with the left hand slightly enough. Jonte Porter bounce pass up ahead for Wigington. Lindell. <laughs> Right into the hands of Ellaby on that pass. Now it's Minot. Minot lays it up and in. And the lead back down to two, 56-54. Here's Green right into a three, top of the key, and he knocks it down. Moutier with the rebound. Emmanuel down the middle of the lane. Finds Dozier, open for a three ball, and it's good. Ante de Kumpo. Looks to drive it, might have got away with a walk, and his reverse layup is well, good. It was almost over and back, and then that definite walk down there in the baseline. Down six. Porter, quick release, three, and it's good. Yep, he can do that. He had four threes last night. Minot gives it off for Wendell Moore. Back pass for Garza oh, underneath nice. for Minot. And he elevates and flushes it through. Wisconsin Herd have only shot four free throws and made all four. There's Porter makes the shot and he was fouled from behind just outside the paint. Up top, Moutier kind of bobbled the pass, gives it off for Lewis. Lewis now drives it. Lewis hangs in the air and lays it up and in. Might have been an inadvertent, but he took a little forearm. Yeah. That's what the officials are telling head coach. Javante Cook oh, oh, gets hit right in the side of the head by Minot. Wigington the other way gives it up for Mamu Kalashivi. Think maybe uh, John T. Porter. Garza steps out, three ball on the way, and it's good. Iowa needed something. Yeah, Luca with 23 now. That's all you have to say is how good they are, and they'll miss them for you, John. Here's a lob inside for Sampson, and he's got another two. Uh, they're dying, that being the Wisconsin herd. Wendell Moore Jr. Ooh. can't convert, but stolen away on the outlet pass. P.J. Dozier will try another three. Got it! And Iowa with the first lead. Now it's D.J. Carton. Extra pass for P.J. Dozier. Three is on the way, and good. Assist Sampson, Dozier the bucket. A missed shot there by Randolph. Here comes Iowa the other way. Samson through the lane. Samson off the window and in. A nice move by Samson. Kind of looked left and kind of froze. 
Iowa swings it around the perimeter. Wendell Moore Jr. finds Carton. DJ, sweet move there. Went right by Porter. Well, it was a foul, but no harm. <laughs> Garza with it up top, Iowa. Oh, pass nice for Carton pass. inside. Oh, DJ. Oh. Pretty move by DJ Carton. But he was fantastic off the bench, but he's been much quieter yeah. as a starter tonight. AJ, of course, when I say that, he turns around and hits an impossible fadeaway. Started last night, didn't have a big impact on the game, but huge impact tonight. Here's Garza. Five on the shot clock. Garza turns, fades, baseline. Got it. Luca gives it off for P.J. Dozier. Now Moutier. No, oh, nice pass inside for Minot. Back cut, defender lost him. Two points, but 10 assists tonight for Moutier. Delay of game warning. Iowa not missing many at all. Mamu Kayla Shivy drops it off for Green with a little quick release along the baseline. Iowa could use a bucket. Kind of salt this thing away, Moutier. Kicks it, Wendell Moore Jr.'s three is up and good as he nearly falls into the front row. Would have been the loudest celebration of the night for the former Hawkeye. Here's Andre Kumbo, blocked away by Wheeler. Final seconds tick away and there's your final buzzer here from the Wells Fargo Arena in Des Moines.